And as you can see, I've done a little improvement over last time. Oh, Mr. White. As you can see, I got his nose and mouth painted. Got the little pads on his hands. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that I sculpted something over his stomach. So when you see the photo, you just see like a triangle patch of fur. You don't see the belly scales. Okay, but I almost forgot that. And feet done. Now today we're actually going to paint his shell. Put this down. Now first we're going to paint the base of the spikes. As you can see, I put painter tape to make sure the red paint doesn't get on the spikes. In the next video, I'll show you how to paint the shell because it turned out I had to buy the paint to make blue gray. Apparently they were sold out. So let's get this set up. Let's get this. Let's see. So you can see it. Okay. You need some flag red paint. Paintbrush. I'm not going to worry too much about getting it on the shell because it will be painted over. Do you really want this brush? Yeah, I want this one. Sure, I forgot what side. There we go. Now I'm going to let this dry and then I'll add another coat. I'm not going to worry too much about the red gain on the shell because for Meows or his shell's a blue gray, there's no lines intersecting the shell. Oh, if you're wondering the color I use for his face, it's a khaki brown. Which I feel looks a lot better than his normal face color. For the pants on his feet, I used a color it's called Pink Parfait because, well, they didn't have the basic pink. It looked like somebody graded most of the good colors, but. Okay, so in the next. So once this dries, I'll add another coat and then. In the next video, I'll show you how to mix the right color for blue, gray, and paint the shell. And then we can move on from there. So as always, thank you for watching.